Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, you guys know the deal, man. You know what we're here to do. It's all about the truth, the facts on this channel. And you guys get that. You guys understand that. So much respect to all you guys. Thank you to all you guys worldwide, man. Everybody out there, man. Shout out to everybody, man. The United Kingdom, Canada, the Philippines, France, Germany, Poland. Shout out to, I saw Trinidad and Tobago. Shout out to you guys out there, man. I saw that pop up on my analytics, man. Shout out to everybody out there. Uh, Belgium, Monte Carlo, Australia, New Zealand. Shout out to all my peoples out there. Thank you for supporting my channel, guys. Much respect to all you guys. And in this video, we're going to speak briefly about some nonsense that I saw last night that happened just last night, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. This is some breaking news right here uh, with this guy, LeBron James, man. And this dude, he apparently he changed in the street clothes, right? And then was eating like some a, a fruit bowl or something on the sidelines or on the bench, man. I, we're going to talk about it in this video because this is what we're talking about. This is the nonsense. And you guys know what to do, man. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, man, this man, LeBron James, once again, LeBron James embarrasses himself. Once again, LeBron James proves to us, right? He proves once again why he's a walking clown show. Why we do not respect him. This is why he's asking for respect. But once again, LeBron James does something that makes us scratch our head, that makes us not respect him, that makes us wonder what this man is thinking. Just more evidence, right? Just more evidence for us. So last night, the Lakers had a preseason game against the Golden State Warriors. And LeBron James, he plays in the preseason game. Congratulations, LeBron. And, uh, you know, he had a game, and he was out there playing however many minutes he played. I don't know how many, many minutes he ended up playing. But after he was done playing, right, and he wasn't going to head back into the game, right, he was done for the night. He came out the game. And what does this man proceed to do? He does classic LeBron James, makes everything all about himself, not the team. Goes in the locker room, changes into street clothes, and then proceeds to sit on the bench in street clothes and eat some food on the bench. This is LeBron James. This is classic LeBron James. Once again, like I said, guys, making it about himself, not the team. No, let me not stay on the bench in my uniform, right? And build the camaraderie with my team. Talk to my teammates. Try, try to help them out a little bit. Point out some things that they might be doing wrong on the court. Right? Be involved. Be into the game. <laughs> That's not LeBron James. <laughs> no, no, no. Why would he be involved in a game? Especially a preseason game. Now, once again, like I just said, yes, it was a preseason game. But can you guys ever recall anybody else doing this? Someone going in. Right after they played a certain amount of minutes in a preseason game, going into the locker room, changing into street clothes, <coughs> then coming back onto the bench and eat some food. You guys remember this? Ever, anybody seen? I, I don't remember seeing this. Anybody doing this? <coughs> I damn sure never saw Michael Jordan do this nonsense. And why is it a big deal? Now, it's not a big deal in the grand scheme of everything, but why it's a big deal? It's a big deal for LeBron James. It should be a big deal for LeBron James because he's the one asking us for the respect, right? Every video, guys, I talk about this. He's asking us for the respect, right? He wants his damn respect from who? From us, the average NBA fan. We do not respect him, and he knows this, which is why he's asking for the respect, which is why he felt the need to have his wife call him the GOAT, which is why he felt the need to come out and say that he wasn't cheating the game. Right? That's the guilty conscience of LeBron James, and he knows that he's not getting any respect. 
So LeBron James, right, does what he does. And this is why we don't respect him. You're pulling stunts like this, man. You should know better. If you want the respect, then have some class, man, and act in a manner which would make us respect you. But you pull this nonsense, and it's a corny move, it's a classless move to change into your street clothes and sit and eat food on the bench? Right? You're so disinterested in the game. It's a preseason game. Once again, I'm LeBron James. It's all about me. I'm above this. I'm above that. I don't need to pay attention to the game. The Lakers lost the game. Not that it matters. It's a preseason game. But even if it was a regular game, he wouldn't care. Right? He don't care. The man broke the scoring record, right? And then proceeded to check himself out the game, and then the Lakers lost the, lost the game. He don't care about winning and losing. Not like he cares about himself. Not like he cares about his stats. And there's a clear another indicator and more evidence for us to laugh at and clown this man. Eating on the bench. Wearing some street clothes. Who does, it? Who does this, man? And his fans will say what? Yo, who cares, man? It's a preseason game, man. Who cares, man? Why are you sweating them, dude? Blah, blah, blah. They say the same things over and over again. It's always an excuse. It's, it never matters. Nothing ever does. But once again, the reason why I'm telling you it matters is because LeBron James wants his respect. That's not a respectable move. I don't respect that nonsense. We you eating a fruit bowl? You eating sushi on the sidelines? You eating soup? What, what are you doing here? Because LeBron James is a walking meme. He's a walking clown show. Every year he plays, every year we get more and more stuff to laugh about, to make fun of this man. Every year. Every year. And there's just more evidence. Here we go once again. You guys, I don't know if you guys have seen it. Check it out. You'll probably see the highlights. I saw the highlight on uh, NBA TV. And the funny thing is, is none of the announcers, right, none of the broadcasters, no one calls this stuff out. No one clowns him for this. No one makes fun of him, right? None of this nonsense. LeBron James does whatever he wants. This is LeBron James. He's going to continue to do whatever he wants. And if he's going to continue to do these things, then we will continue to mock him for it. And it's not hate. This is just the evidence. This is the film that LeBron James has given us to judge him off of. You ain't going to get no respect acting like that, man. Dude, it's a straight clown show, this guy, man. You guys know the deal, man. Once again, LeBron James doing just nonsensical things on the basketball court, showing no interest in the game, no respect for the game, no respect for his teammates. He's the only one doing this stuff. I wouldn't want to play with this man. And this is why we can't wait for this man to retire. We have nothing left for this man with this nonsense that he does. I'll catch you guys on the next one.